Hi, welcome back to the course Write JUnit Test Cases for Spring Boot application using JUnit and Mockito. This is Bhushan. Let's get started. Now you can enroll to my Udemy Premium course, which is Build Production Ready REST API in Spring Boot and Data JPA. We are going to build the Expense Tracker API. You will learn a whole lot of things. Make sure to check out this course and also use this coupon code before enrolling to this course. And also you can enroll to the another course, which is building the Spring Boot application with Timeleaf. We're going to create a web application, which is Expense Manager, and you will learn a whole lot of things. Also, you can use this coupon code for this course as well. Now back to the video. In the previous video, we discussed about writing the JUnit test cases for the controller layer. In case if you missed the previous video, the link will be given in the description section of this video. Go ahead and watch the previous video before proceeding this video. In this video, we'll perform the integration testing. We're going to write the JUnit test cases for the integration testing. So how we are going to do the integration testing? So far, the test cases that we have written in our application, those are all independent to each other. We have written the JUnit test cases for individual layers. We have written the general test cases for the controller layer, repository layer, and the service layer. And if you look at these general test cases, these are all independent to each other. These test cases are not dependent on any other layers. So far, what we have done is we have just faked the implementation and we have using the Mockito, we have tested the application. We have not tested the real implementation. We have just provided the fake implementation and we have tested the each individual units, meaning we have tested a single unit or single methods inside the individual layers. But for now, we have to do the integration testing, which means we have to test the entire flow. We have to test the entire features. For example, the save operation, delete operation, update operation, or if we have a login operation or registration operation, we have to test the entire feature. And to do that, we are going to use the real database instead of the in-memory database. So far, we have used the H2 in-memory database. And for now, we are going to use the real database, the real MySQL, MySQL database. And we are going to test the entire implementation. We are going to test the real implementation. And we are not going to use the Mockito for this because the whole idea of using Mockito was to, to mock the objects, to mock the implementations. But for now, we are not going to mock anything because we are not providing any fake implementation. We have to test the complete feature. So for that, we are not going to use Mockito. We're going to use the JUnit and also we will make use of the uh, Spring Boot test dependency to test the entire feature. So let's get started. So the first step is to we have to add the dependency inside our pom.xml. We have to add the MySQL dependency and also we have to configure the data source inside our application.properties file. So let's do that. I'm inside the STS IDE. So what I'll do is I'll just go to the browser and search for star.spring.io. Let's go to the spring initializer and click on this add dependency and search for MySQL driver. Click explore and copy the dependency. This is the dependency that we are looking for. Copy this. Now let's go back to the STS and open the pom.xml. First of all, we have to comment this in memory database. So let's comment this and let's add the MySQL driver dependency. Save the file. This will take a couple of seconds to download all the dependencies that are related to MySQL dependency. So once it is done, next we have to configure the data source. Let's go to the resources section, open the application.properties file. We have just added this show SQL to true. Now let's configure the data source, spring.datasource.url. We are going to provide the JDBC URL JDBC colon MySQL colon double slash localhost colon double three zero six. You can provide the database name. I'm going to provide the database name as movies DB. Next, we have to provide the data, data source username spring dot data source dot username. In my case, it's root 
spring dot data source dot password make sure to change the username and password as per your mysql installation and also i'm going to add one more property to create the database tables so spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl minus auto we're going to set this to update with this save the file now we have configured the data source for mysql database and inside the mysql database we have to create this database which is movies db let's go to the mysql workbench and i have already created this database if you expand this there are no tables when we start the application it is going to create the tables for us so go ahead and create this database once we have configured this data source we can close this file we don't need this and we can also close this pawn.xml and let's close this as well now in order to write the integration uh, jmu test cases we are going to create a new package inside this source test java let me create a new package i'm going to call this integration and inside this let's create a new class you can also create the junit class i'm going to call this movies integration test you can give any name you want i just call this as movies integration test and inside this first of all we are going to set up few things before that we have to use the annotation in order to do the integration testing we are going to use the one of the spring provided annotation which is spring boot test annotation before using that we can go ahead and read few lines about that annotation so let's go to the browser let's go to the browser and search for at the rate spring boot test docs and go to the first link docs.spring.io go ahead and read few lines about this annotation it has a great documentation i'm going to highlight few things so using this annotation we can use as the spring boot context loader as the default context loader so using this annotation we can uh, load the context loader the spring boot context loader that is very important so it is going to load all the components and also automatically searches for the spring boot configuration it will automatically search as the configuration annotation the spring boot auto configuration annotation and it also allows us to uh, allows the custom environments properties to define the properties attribute and the most important thing important thing is it provides the support for different web environment modes including the ability to start a fully running web server listening on a defined or random port this is very important so it will provides a different web environment modes and we can using this it provides an ability to start the fully managed web server just like how we will uh, start the tomcat web server it will also start the web server that can be listened on a defined port or it will also uh, run on a different on, on, on a random port so that is all about the spring boot test and we're going to use this annotation to test the integrate to write the integration test cases so let's go to the sts and let's add this annotation spring boot test annotation spring boot test annotation and like i said it provides a different web environment modes so let's configure the web environment to set the random port so spring boot test dot web environment dot random port so it is going to start the web server on a random port but once it's once it started the web server we can get the port as well so for that we're going to use the annotation local server port so i'm going to create a reference variable for that private int port and let's add the annotation local server port so this will gives us the port number when when it started the web server next we are going to configure the we are going to prepare the url that we are going to test so private string base url i'm going to call this as base url http colon double slash localhost 
Next, in order to uh, test the entire control flow, we are going to use the REST template. We have to make the uh, web request. So private static REST template. I'm going to make this as static because because we are going to initialize this inside the static block. So let's call this REST template. And also we, we need the movie repository. So let's auto wire the movie repository as well. Movie repository, movie repository. So, and finally, we are going to initialize this REST template inside the static folder. So we are going to use one of the JUnit lifecycle methods that is before all. So before running all the test cases, it is going to initialize this REST template. So public static void init. The method name you can give anything you want. Let's add the annotation before all and inside this we will initialize the rest template rest template is equal to new rest template we're going to create the object of it and now we are going to add the annotation auto wired and also we have to prepare the uh, web endpoints before running each and every uh, JUnit test cases so for that I'm going to use one more lifecycle method which is public void before setup this is the method name I'm going to call so before running each and every JUnit test case we are going to set up something that is inside this let's make use of the base URL base URL is equal to base URL I'm going to concatenate the string uh, first of all we have to concatenate the port number after this local host we don't know the port on which it is going to run so local host colon the port number uh, the port number we will get we will get this uh, from this local server port so let's use this port as well port and after this we are going to concatenate the path which is slash movies so now we have prepared this base URL. So this is going to, we are going to prepare this base URL before running each and every JUnit test case. So for that, we are going to use the before each annotation. Similarly, we are, we are also going to use after each annotation. After each annotation. And let's create a method public wide after setup so inside this what we're going to do so after running each and every general test case we are going to clean up the database so for that i'm going to make use of this movie repository that is why we have auto wired this so movie repository dot delete all delete all this is going to clean up the database that's it so this is what the initial setup for our integration test so let's recap what we have done. We have created the class and we have added the annotation spring boot test annotation. This is going to load all the components to test the entire control flow for control flow of the application or to test the entire features. And it provides a different web environment modes. And we have used the one of the web environment to get the random port. It is going to provide uh, ability to start the fully uh, web server. And once it started the web server, we are going to get the port using this local server port. And we have a reference, we have created the reference variable for this server port that is port. And also we have prepared the base URL using this base URL property. And we have initialized the rest template. We are going to use this rest template to test the endpoints. And we have initialized this rest template before running each and every, before running all the test cases so we have used the before all annotation to initialize the rest template and also we have used the movie repository we have auto wired this movie repository to clean up the database after running each and every JUnit test case for that we have used the after each annotation and also we have used the before each annotation to prepare the 
uh, web URL or the rest endpoints before running each and every JUnit test case. Okay, now we have done the uh, initial setup. Now let's go ahead and start writing the JUnit test cases for the endpoints. All right, now let's go ahead and write the JUnit test case for the save operation. So if you open this controller, let me open this controller, the movie controller. We have this post mapping and we're going to test this feature. We're going to do the, we're going to write the integration test case for this post mapping, which is slash movies. And we're going to test this against the MySQL database. Let's open this movie integration test. Let's create a method void. Let's call this should create movie test. We will add the annotation test. And inside this, first of all, we need to set up the data that are required for our test case. I will go to this movie controller movie controller test and copy this data or the movies object and paste it and we don't need this id we don't want to initialize the id because when we saved into the database it is going to create the id for us okay so now we have created the movie object which is avatar movie next we're going to make use of the rest template which we have initialized at the top rest template so let's make use of this rest template dot it provides a method called post for object let's use post for object and we're going to provide the url that is we have set up at the top which is base url so let's make use of this base url and we're going to pass the object which we want to save to the database that is avatar movie and we have to provide the the entity name which is entity type that is movie dot class and once we make a request once we make this post request using this rest template it is going to return the movie object back so let's call this movie let's say it's new movie and next we are going to make use of the we are going to do the assertions so let's make use of this assert not null assert not null we're going to check this new movies should not be not should be not null and also once we save it into the database it is going to uh, generate the id for us so let's verify whether do we have the id or not assert that for that we're going to use assert that new movie dot get id is not null it should not be null if it is stored into the database so let's save this and now let's go ahead and test this uh, generate test case so in order to test this you can just select this and choose run as junit test It should create the database tables for us and also the test case should be passed. Let's verify that you can see the test case. You can see the console logs and also you can see this delete query as well because after each and every JUnit test case, after each and every JUnit test case, we are cleaning up the database. That is why you can see the delete query and also you can see the green bar. The test case has been passed so far the functionality for slash movies post mapping is working as expected. But if you go to the database, you will not see anything, but you can see the table that has been created. So let's refresh this. And if you expand this, you can see the table that has been created. But if you select this query, you will not see anything because after each and every general test case, we are cleaning up the database. So that is what this after each will do. Okay, so let's recap 
one more time that's what we have done we have created the generic test case that is should create movie test we have added the test annotation we have set up the data that are required for our test case and we have make use of the rest template to make the http post request to the url which is the base url that we have set up that is slash movies and we have passed the object that we have set up which is avatar movie and once we make the request we will get the the saved object and using that we have verified the expected uh, result is correct or not we did the assert not null and also we have verified the id should not be null now let's go ahead and write the unit test case for reading the movies from the database so let's create a unit test case void should fetch movies test let's add the test annotation let me create some white space inside this first we need to set up the data that are required for our test case let's go to this movie controller test and copy these two movies object and paste it so let's get rid of this id All right, now we have set up the data that are required for our test case. The second step is to, we have to test the unit that is being tested. So we have to make use of the rest template, rest template. It provides a method called get for object, get for object. We will provide the URL that is base URL and for this we don't have to pass any data so it is going to return a list so we can specify the response type that is list dot class and it is going to return list of movie let's call this list let's import list list let me remove this the wrong import has been imported so let's import the list from util package and next once we get the list we can validate it we can verify whether the expected result is correct or not we can assert that assert not null can do assert not null least or instead of the not null we can just directly check the size of it so assert that assert that least dot size and we're going to call this is equal to should be equal to two the list size should be equal to two so let's save this now let's go ahead and verify that so I'm going to select this JUnit test case, right click, choose run as and JUnit test. The test case should be passed and we should see the green bar. We are getting some exception that is assertion field expected to, but it was zero. All right, uh, we made some mistake let's verify it what we have done we have created the movie object the two movie object we have created and we have okay okay we forgot to uh, save the records into the database we have just created the two objects but we forgot to save it into the database after saving it only we will we are going to fetch the records into the database at the time we will get the size of it too so what i'll do is i'm going to just copy this copy this and i'll paste it now we can pass the objects that is titanic movie 
and save this. Now select the JUnit test case, choose run as JUnit test. This time it should pass the test case and we should see the green bar. Let's verify that. There you go. And it inserted the two records into the database and it made the select query. And after that, it it deleted the records. So you can see we get the green bar and the test case has been passed. Now let's write a JUnit test case for reading the single movie object from the database. So I'm going to create a JUnit test case void should fetch one movie test. Let's add the test annotation. And inside this, we are going to set up the data that are required for our test case. So what I'll do is I'm going to copy these two. Let's copy this and paste it. Store this. Okay, once we make the post request, we will get the new object. I'm going to store that in the same variable, the same avatar movie object avatar movie similarly here let's make this titanic movie so let's make it titanic movie so what we have done is we have set up the data and also we have after setting up the data we are going to store it into the database and we have made the post request using the rest template and we are going to assign it to the same variables that is avatar movie and titanic movie and next what we will do is we are going to make use of the rest template to call the get api for a single movie object for that we are going to use get for object and the url that is base url and for this, we are going to concatenate the ID. So let's make use of this avatar movie ID. Avatar movie dot get ID. After saving into the database, we will get the ID of this object that is avatar movie object. So for the for using that ID, we are making the get call get API call. And we have to specify the type that is movie.class this will gives us the existing movie object so let's call this movie existing movie and now we can validate whether the expected result is correct or not so let's make use of this assert not null and we can pass this existing movie similarly assert equals we can do assert equals we can verify the movie name that is avatar and we can make use of this existing movie dot get name. So with this save the file. Now let's select the JUnit test case choose run as JUnit test. The test case should be passed and we should see the green bar. You can see the green bar, the test case has been passed. So what we have done is we have set up the data, we have stored into the database and we have, we will, once we stored into the database, we will get the ID of it. So we have stored it in a variable, the same variable. And after that, we have make use of the rest template to call the get API for a single movie object. And after that, once we get the a movie object we are going to validate it we are going to verify whether the expected result is correct or not using assert not null and assert equals now let's go ahead and write a journey test case for deleting the movie void should delete movie test let's add the annotation test and inside this first we need to set up the data so we'll do the same thing so let's copy this data 
and paste it next let's make use of the rest template dot delete it provides a method called delete and to this we are going to pass the url and if you look at this this is going to return void so after deleting this it will not return anything so base url and we need to provide the id which we want to delete slash the id we're going to make use of one of the object that is avatar movie dot get id and after deleting this so what what we are doing is we are creating the two movie objects we are storing the two movie objects into the database and after deleting one of the movie object inside the database there will be one record we can verify the size which are present inside the database so for that let's make use of the movie repository movie repository dot find all and we can get the size of it i'm going to store that in a variable called count now we can verify this count assert equals assert equals the expected is one and the actual is count with this save the file now select the JUnit test case choose run as JUnit test the test case should be passed we should see the green bar let's verify that you can see we get the green bar and our test case is working as expected the functionality is working as expected now let's write a journey test case for updating the movie void should update movie test let's add the test annotation and inside this first of all let's set up the data that are required for our test case uh, what i'll do is i'm going to copy these two paste it and next once we save it into the database we are going to update the the same object which is avatar movie so avatar movie dot set genre we are going to update the genre so let's say it's fantasy fantasy and after this let's make use of this rest template dot put it provides a method called put so we will provide the base url and there is also one more way so what we can do is we can provide the path variable slash id and the second parameter is the request body or the the object name which we are object which we are going to update in our case it's avatar movie and the third parameter is this path variable so what we can do is avatar movie dot get id which we are going to update and once it updates uh, this put method is also going to return void so once we update this we can validate it so let's make use of the rest template dot get for object get for object let's provide the base url base url slash avatar movie dot get id and we can pass the object type that is movie get for object the second parameter is movie dot class oops so let's change this to movie dot class this will gives us the existing movie so let's call this movie existing movie now we can assert this assert not null assert not null existing movie and we can verify this genre because we have updated the genre so assert equals the expected is fantasy fantasy and expected actual is 
existing movie dot get genre so with this save the file now select the test case choose run as JUnit test the test case should be passed we should see the green bar let's validate it there you go we get the green bar the update functionality is working as expected all right now let's go ahead and refactor this general test cases so if you look at these general test cases inside each and every general test case we are setting up the data so what we can do is we can move this code to this before each annotation method so before running each and every general test case we can set up the data for us so what i'll do is i'm going to cut this entire thing the data that we have set up and i'm going to move it to this before each annotation method and also we are not going to use the rest template dot post for object method to save the records into the database instead we are going to make use of the movie repository because here what we are doing is we are actually saving into the database using this rest template we are directly showing uh, saving the records into the into the database through the api and but what we are here trying to do is we are testing that api itself so before testing the api we are using the same approach to save the records into the database so what will happen if there is a problem with our implementation this would fail right so that's why we are not going to use this approach instead we are going to use the repository that is movie repository so movie repository dot save and we will save the records that is avatar movie object this will return the movie back and similarly titanic movie is equal to movie repository movie repository dot save and we can save the records into the database so now using this movie repository we are saving the objects into the database let's save this and now we can remove some of the uh, duplicate code so inside this should fetch one movie test method i'm going to remove the code and similarly in the delete also i'm going to get rid of the data in the update as well i'll just remove this and what we have to do is at the top let's create some fields private movie avatar movie similarly private movie titanic movie and now so let's get rid of this and looks like we are good and if you look at this should create movie test here we are actually making use of this test template because we have to test the entire feature the save feature so we have to make the request for the api slash movies that is why we here we have used this but while saving while setting up the data we should not use this approach because we should not save the records into the database through the api because if after all we are testing the entire feature and if we use the same feature to save the records into the database to set up the data what if we have a uh, wrong what if we have something wrong with our implementation that is not a good approach right so that is why we have used this movie repositories to save the records into the database now in this case we are damn sure about the movie repository it is going to store the records into the database and with this save the file now let's go ahead and run the generate test cases uh, all the test cases should be passed as before and we should see the green bar as well let's verify that you can see all the test cases has been passed and all of the features as working is working as expected but what we have done is we have refactor the code 
and we have used the movie repository to save the records into the database and for each and every general test case we are making the uh, use of the rest template to test the endpoints that is slash movies or slash movies slash the id of a movie and we are testing all the CRUD operations like create update delete and read so this is all about the integration testing i hope you guys enjoyed this crash course we have learned so far testing the uh, repository layer service layer and controller layer and also we have learned how to do write the integration uh, journey test cases we have learned so far about the mock ito and the assertion methods and also we have learned about the mock mvc in case if you guys are enjoyed this uh, video go ahead and smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for future videos in case if you are looking for the source code the link will be given in the description section of this video for the source code go ahead and uh, check out the repository which is available in the github and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video